Hello. In this lesson, we'll take the curves we created in the previous lesson, and we'll start building our main body surfaces from them. So if you remember, we have our four vertical curves, and these are going to represent our cross sections. And there's a couple different ways we can build this. The first way is to build an elliptical shape at the top and bottom using the ellipse diameter setting. And that gives us our long direction of the ellipse, and this gives us our short direction of the ellipse. And we can use those two curves as our rails and do a two rail sweep around the object. So we'll select surface, sweep two rails, and then we'll select these rails in order as our cross sections. When we get the window, make sure you click on closed sweep and we can hit preview. And we'll switch that to refit within, it uses our math settings from our model, and we'll go ahead and hit OK. That gives us that shape there. This first time through, I'll select all four curves, and then I'll go up to surface, and I'll select loft. Now there's some different options here. Now you can see the object doesn't close completely, so we can click close loft. Now it closes. You can see with the normal selection, we get a nice shape, but it's not exactly the shape we've drawn. If we select loose, we get closer, but it's sort of changed the object around. Tight gives us that deformed shape again. Straight sections will give us the object drawn with just straight lines in between. As you click different options here, you can get some very strange results. Now in this particular instance, loft probably won't work for us. And the reason for that, let me go to the right viewport, is because the shape is tapered. And you can see here in the lower section, this middle or the center cross sections are towards the front of the object. And by the time we get up here, the same section is actually towards the back of the object. So the object is kind of deforming itself as it moves from the top to the bottom. So we'll go ahead and cancel that. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to go back and we'll use our two rail sweep. So we'll go up to surface, select sweep two rails, select our rail curves, and now our cross section curves. And you want to pick those in order. And you also want to pick in about the same location on each curve so that it doesn't twist itself around. I'll go ahead and click to make sure that closed sweep is selected. If I hit preview, you can see that now fills in that section. And sometimes, depending on your shape, this maintain height is going to make a big difference or no difference at all. In this particular instance, it's not seeming to affect the shape too much, so we'll leave that unchecked. And we'll just hit OK. I'll select this object. Let me go to Properties, and I'll uncheck Visible. And that just kind of cleans that up for us a little bit. With this object selected, you can see if we look down here that this object is just hollow. We can see all the way through it. So we're going to go ahead and make this object a solid. So we'll go to Solid, Cat Planar Holes, and we get the warning from the command line that it's not able to cap the holes. And what that's telling us is that these edges aren't exactly planar. And as you can see, as I sweep in here, that little bit of a deflection and that line thickness tells me that although they're very close, these edges aren't exactly planar. Let me switch on shaded view in this view, so I'll hit Control Alt S. And we'll bring back those two cutting planes that we hit earlier. So I'll select those because those are hidden. Hit Enter, and that brings them back. I we'll just want to nudge that up a little bit, so I'll hold down Alt and press my up arrow. And I want to do the opposite for this one, so I'll select that, press down Alt, and then just tap my down arrow. So once I've done that, I can select the main shampoo bottle body and hit Split. Select this object, and this object. Now that's gone ahead and split these. I want to deselect this middle piece, so I'll hold down Control, and Select, and that actually deselects the object. 
And you can see that leaves us with a selection up here and a selection down here. And those are the uneven portions of the surface. So we hit delete, and that gets rid of those. And once again, I want to hide these two parts. So a middle mouse click brings my middle mouse pop up. And I'll press hide objects. Now I can take these two objects. And as long as I've cut enough of the material away and they're planar on the ends, I can now go back to solid, cat planar holes. You can see it's filled that in and made that object planar for me. Let's go to my right viewport, select the object, and now I'm going to go up to Surface, Plane, Cutting Plane. It's going to click here to get my endpoint, and I can actually drag off to the right here and hold down Shift. So it still draws the part here. And what Cutting Plane does is whatever you have selected, it draws a part large enough to completely cover that area for you. So once that's done, I still have my body selected. So I have this object, and I have my cutting object. I can use my boolean split command to break this into two parts, and actually cap the part at the same time. So with that main shampoo bottle selected, I'll go to my solid menu, and I'll select boolean split. Command line asks me to select the cutting surface, which is that surface there. It doesn't look like anything has happened, but I'll take this object and go ahead and hide it. And you can see I can click on these two objects individually. Let me move these off to layers. So layer 2, I'm going to change the name of that to cap. I'll select the object, put that on the cap layer. And this object I'll call body. And right click and put that on the body layer. And now when I switch off the cap layer, you can see that the body is actually already capped here. So this part is still a solid. If we bring back cap and hide the body layer, you can see the underside of the cap. When that was Boolean split, it goes ahead and it fills in this object for you. If we did a traditional split command, that would have left the top of the body and the bottom of the cap without being closed or capped off. And we would have had to have gone in and run the solid cap planar hole command on both of them to fill those in and get the same result we get by running the boolean split command. So that's the main surface of the body completed. And in the next lesson, we'll look at adding the surface details to this object.